Okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, sorry for today's episode. Today's episode. Uh, my boy, my VC button isn't working. So, most of you know the rules by now. My mic soft in the stream. Uh, can you, Cadence? Can you increase my volume? Yeah, yeah. So, most of, since we, since we all know the rules by now. Who wants to fight first? Also, how's my also, how's my voice on stream? Yeah, I should be better now. I confused it by quite a lot. Really? It needs to be louder? Chicken. Even more? Yeah, voice stream's fine. Okay. Nope. Okay, chicken. Oh, chickens first? Right. Do I need to be... Do I need to be louder? This is serious. <laughs> yeah, still not saying loud and clear. Okay. Just a bit? Alright, I'll just increase it a little bit more. Yeah, set it point 0.5 maybe? Yeah. Alright. So, who wants to fight first? Frost? Ooh. Frost and Dreon? Frost, do you want to fight Dreon? Alright. Frost on player one. Alright, you're ready to spectate, right? Yeah, I'm spectating. I win. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, Happy Jack just made it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's nice that we're getting more people as, just as soon as we start. Although it would be nice if they would be on time. Just because, like, being on if we're not on time and we don't have like a lot of people. Or we don't have like several people. It kind of gets awkward to start. Yeah. So next time, guys, whoever's watching this this video <laughs> or the stream, please be be more punctual. Especially yeah, if you're going to be joining. Yeah. Mine, let's make it quick. So let's see. We ha I've never actually seen Dreon play before. Ready? Mostly because like he's from China, and it's like, even though he's he's in Asia, it's like China's kind of big and it gets. And he, where he's from, from what I can tell, seems to be really far. Yeah, we also we have um, Frost with uh, Oleander. It's his second, her secondary. Yeah, secondary character, from what I can yeah. tell. Ooh. And she's he's using it for like two days for now. And Dreon yeah. with uh, that. Doing some decent damage with. Oh, not exactly. Jumping hitch. Oh, Ooh, not... to go for like full reset. Yeah, but didn't get really, really get anything. He gets the cart T though. I wonder why this. Did you... Did you see the conversion? Like, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice grab. And so the uh, chapter trap. Yeah, that's the thing though. Uh, chapter trap is a basically a projectile. So the moment you hit Oleander, it just disappears. Ooh, nice high low. Honestly, now that I think about it, the only, the only item that the only non-projectile is essentially, at least between the two, is like the cinnamon, right? Yeah. No. Uh, but the cinnamon, if you do hit, if you do hit, Pat, it just disappears. Ah, true. Oh. Which I feel is really silly, but all right. Contra Ooh. Trap. Ooh, nice. Nice stagger. 
yeah, one thing I'm noticing is that Dreon, he's not going for, he's not always going for full of conversions, but he has like, he has a lot of staggers. Yeah, resets and staggers. Oh! Is it tough to call that eating the apple, alright. Odd choice. Ross just backing off. Trying to get some space to read, I assume. Just a nice jab. No hit confirmed into the super. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, got caught. Yeah. Got caught with the forward C. Yeah, I saw that. The 6C and then it's just got punished with like the pot. Yeah. Frost needs to be more careful and if anything... Actually, at that range, 5A would have hit. So she needs to learn more to how... She needs to learn more to check with like her faster normals. Because it's like... She was about, already at a disadvantage. Yeah. So her 5A was... The thing about like Oleander's 5A, it's the best in the game because it reaches so far. And it's still five so frames. Yeah. yeah, it's still five frames. Four frames, actually. Well, I, I mean... Sending gets four frames? Well, I, I, what I mean is like, oh. it was, the first active frame is on the fifth frame, basically. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, that's I, I'm right. S I still have that kind of mentality. <laughs> all right, okay. I see, I see. A lot of people are actually like that, surprisingly. Oh, so it's like four frames of startup and then the fifth frame active. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Dreon switching to Oleander. So let's see how he handles spacing. Ooh. Antagony. Yeah, you see that. You see him. I think he's trying to teach Frost how to do like Tiger Knee sparks as well. Because, like, look at him. Yeah, he already... him yeah, he was already two stocks. And because of that, he kind of. He's just able to control space. And look at that damage! Nice idea from Frost. No big conversions. Oh, you think lots of space from the from the yeah. You see him. Power. You see him doing like anti-air sparks. He's Ooh. just spamming it to That's show like button. to show Frost how to do it. Yeah, like it's, it should be part of the game plan. Yeah, it, Tiger Knee Spark is so integral to Oleander because it it provides control, it provides offense, it provides defense, it provides resource. Who does Dreon mean? Um, who does Dreon mean? I don't think I don't I've seen him play. Yeah, I don't too. see him play that much. If anything, I wouldn't be. From the way that he plays, I wouldn't be surprised if he does main uh, Oleander. Ooh, Kokowas having problems. Sorry, I'm checking Discord. Kokowa seems to be having uh, problems with having the internet. A... Ooh. Token War. Nice teleport. No conversion though. Oh! Oh! He does catch her this time with the teleport B. Decent combo. Doesn't finish it, but he does at least study. Can I go for some... Oh Ooh. no. Red just for the teleport back, but couldn't get a combo off it. Yeah, and the thing is, if she had like a stock, she would have cancelled the first hit of 6C with a chapter shot. Oh no! Ooh, Ooh Dreon caught catches the... Ah, uh, you don't want to do... Uh, I want to remind everyone, Arizona's the only character in the game with an invincible super. And even then, that kind of loses to Epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's a Dreon 2. Yeah. So who shall... Who's next? Guys, oh, it's uh, over. Frost, get out. Yeah, Dreon, get out. Okay, so who's next? Oh, yeah, I want to remind everyone, especially on stream and the video, we have a best of three sets, meaning you only need to win two matches. Oh, Dreon again, and I guess... Suna? Suna, will you fight Dreon? Alright, wait, does anyone else want to go after Dre uh, before Dreon goes on? Because he already had... Yeah, the thing is, can we have different people first? Things too high. Uh, let's just let go match. Like, we are we already had you. 
All right, thank you. Uh, let's see. Who is? Yeah, that's actually... Ooh, actually, I have an idea. Jive and Happy Jack. Oh. Report the shrine. Oh, okay. I have Jive. All right. Yeah. Uh, Suna's having lots of them. Um... Jive on P1. Let's go. Let's go. All I don't right. think I've seen them play much, but Jive is fairly new to the game, and as well as like Happy Jack a bit. Yeah, you can tell. You see there that Jive is like on bronze currently. Ha Happy Jack. He's not yet on like the plat 10, but you can see that he's getting there. So he, I'd say at that point it's intermediate level, because one thing... I don't want to have... Oh, yeah, another Ali mirror. The thing about <laughs> skill in this game, the ranking is more casual. It's really just a matter of how long how you played. You play? Yeah. So usually anyone who's at like 100 plus hours, we assume is like intermediate level. Why did I thought about like using... Uh, the big chapter trap as a projectile shield. Yeah, <laughs> epilogue is a bully fun. move. That's the thing. Yeah. You could get you get away with a lot of stuff with epilogue when you put it out. Yeah, Happy was able to just get three. Ooh. Yeah, oh no! Teleport. Oh, Jive has to be careful. Oh. Even there, even you see that? You see why I call it the bully move? Like yeah. Jive would have gotten away with it if he was just high enough, higher than usual. Because he would have been, I feel like he would have been able to avoid it. Yeah. But it's like, nah. Ooh. If anything at this point, uh, Jive will really have to press for the offensive. Because especially if like you catch Happy Jack throwing out epilogues like nobody's business, Ooh, and you can see that he's making the adjustments to be much more aggressive. But Happy Jack making the comeback. Oh, oh, nice push block. No, oh, no conversion off that. Oh that man, that was a good. shame. He would have gotten something big out of that push block. Oh, he almost Ooh, he caught him with the. Nice he almost caught him with the shadow spark teleport. Ooh. And the down, down. You're dumb. You lost, and you're dumb. Ooh, nice comeback from Happy Jack. Yeah. Beyond Jive would have. Oh. Jive has to be careful because it's like. Ooh, Jive has to be careful because it's like you can. He if he blocked. He would have eaten a lot of chip, but he still would have lived. Yeah. And he could just counter with his own. Or with a falling normal. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Nice confirm. Dash yes. Hands the combo to read. Oh. Dash read, but gets it by the projectile. Oh, both have. Hmm. Oh, Ooh, nice oh right. no, this Why is deja vu! I oh! I, I said you that! Just saw just... Yeah. He like blocks them from doing a full, full combo, if, if they, even if they do manage to get it. That's the thing, you have to be, you really have to be careful in dealing with epilogue, because it's like, it just, it messes up everything. Oh no! Chive got hit with a teleport, Shadow Spark. Happy can oh, win! Oh, He's gonna call out Fred! Oh, no, no Fred! He would have won if he called out Fred. But it doesn't matter. Won, man. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter because he still won by the end of the day. But it's like, man, I would have closed that out with Fred and then just another Shadow Spark. Yeah. If it works, it works. True. Fair enough. Alright, Happy Jack winning by one for now. Yeah. Let's Ooh, see. Lots if... more people there. Yeah. I've never seen before. Yeah. Reaper um, Waffle? Like Bezzy Boy? He seems... Uh, what's this? He seems very attentive. I'm wondering if he's joining the event. I wonder if he... You know the thing is, we don't have like an, another social media account, which would be kind of useful to post like... to make announcements as well. Fred, look alive. Especially yeah. if we... We happen to catch people who are just check... Really? who are into the game and just browsing like Twitter or whatever. Oh! Nice job check from Chappy. From Happy. Noah. Shout out to Chappy, Jerry. <laughs> and there we go. This is. This is them sticking to their guns from what they, they had the previous round. Ooh. I said confirm into that. Oh my god. Nice epilogue right? combo. Oh, no. Just such a. No full conversion though, but. 
Ooh, Jive getting hit by a lot of spray. Uh... Jive really needs to be aggressive in this match. Because he... the slow play is really benefiting Happy. Yeah, Happy get, getting like lots of Apple Locks and Shadow Sparks from just so many attempts to read. Yeah, the thing is, if Jive was more aggressive in this match, he would have been able to stuff like uh, Happy's, uh, Happy's options. Ooh, yeah, did letting, you see how Jive tried to wave dash? Oh, I, I, I might have missed that. I, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I don't think Hap, Jive got the proper link, but it didn't matter because he got the reset anyway. Uh, ah, yeah. Jive really needs to pick up the pace. Yeah. He's just giving Happy too much room to read. Yeah, and because of that, he's able... And the thing is, Jive needs to also be smart with like his pressure because he's... Jive, Happy is getting away with these punishes. Back. Whoa, whoa, was that a wave dash forward A? I guess. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, nice, nice offense. Good overhit. You see how Jive is making these... Like, this is... It made such Ooh, a key difference I... at the start of the match. Like, just being more aggressive. Especially with the ti... Especially if he does, like, more Tiger Knee Sparks. I keep saying it, but... Tiger Knee... Oh. I think he had the epilogue. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, He's lucky happy. that Happy couldn't make... Couldn't convert the epilogue. Because, like... If that was any other time, that would have been bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, he was down. Oh. Really, oh. Nice. Catches the falling. With, uh, Needs to be. Oh! Down. The epilogue is already gone, so he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Come on, pick up the. That's right, just maintain your pressure. Be more aggressive. There you go. Oh! Oh my oh. god, that was sick! Oh my god, a double teleport backwards? <laughs> that was sick! Uh, I don't think I've seen much Oleanders do that. Me neither. That was sick! Ooh, Happy, oh, happy. trying to... Getting a good start. Knowing that Jive is something for the more aggressive start. Oh, nice grab! It's not, it's not gonna be a lot of damage, but he still has the pressure. And as you can see, Happy has the time to study. Ooh. Oh no! Wide launcher. He, probably he was going for like a 2C or a 6C maybe? I can't tell. Yeah. Wow, ooh. The reading just delayed that was, the drop down. That was an unconventional way of beating Epilogue, but I guess it's fine. Because Oleander kind of gets a lot of resources anyway. Ooh, nice stuffing of I the so of the yeah. shadow spark, shadow blast. Oh, can't be always oh no! <laughs> Is that the lock there? Come on. Ooh, happy oh, styling using a level two. Yeah, although that wasn't at that point that wasn't necessary because shadow blast uh, in of itself deals a lot of damage. Yeah. All right, happy takes. But uh, decent improvement for Jive, like, trying, getting through that, but... Yeah, he... Like, Jive would really imp would be improving a lot if he beats, like, uh, what's this? If he just picked up the pace. That's all I had, I'd had. i have to say. Yes. So... Hmm. Creeper, do you want to play? Oh man. Oh, Creeper, I thought you said Creeper. Alright, sorry. Who do we have also? Let me check real you quick. You still have Chicken, Coca, Joe to that, and... I don't uh, know why my ping is high with Suna right now. It seems weird. Okay. But let's have Creeper and Joto. Hold on, I didn't see that. Did he respond? Yeah, he said sure. Okay. Uh, Joto, do you want to play... Where is Creeper Waffle from? He seems like he's from Asia, based on like the ping. What is your ping to him? My ping is like red ping, so... My ping? Up. 200. Oh, he's from the US maybe? Yeah. He did it all. He just doesn't have that much internet. I'm not, I'm not sure. I've never seen his name. Yeah, I guess we'll have people versus... Jotodak? Do you want... Oh, okay. We're playing. Yeah, they're fine. Alright. 
Oh, he's yeah, they're both bronze. All right. Yeah, they're. I, they're Fifty hours. I'm so glad I guessed that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> uh Honestly, it kind of makes me feel like Dragon Ball, where it's like they just they kind of just yeah, haven't under they feel the power levels. <laughs> yes. Ready? Uh. Fight. Think fast. Ooh, right. Oh. Seeing our first airy body. Ooh, nice yeah. jumping B from Jota Duck. Oh, it drops it. It's too far to pull it down. Yeah. Jota's gonna have to be careful with the spate with like how far with his conversions. Ooh. Reaper Ooh, doing nice raw one. raw ropes. Raw ropes are really risky to do and require a lot of reading. Like you have to understand what your opponent is going to be doing. Yeah, you gotta read more than Oliander. <laughs> oh. Also the thing is, if you if you can tell, like Reaper's not doing a lot of stomps. They're which really help despite being Unorthodox, they really help with like Arizona's new show. Ooh, yeah, it's just a very good mid range option. Ooh. Did you see that? He tried to go for a short hop jumping B, but got nothing out of it because uh, Jotadak beat the option. Ooh, did you see how like Jotadak did like uh, B just as I did not? <laughs> oh, oh, ooh, oh, no pickup from. No pick up from magic teleport. Usually you are able to pick that up with even at least a 5A. Ooh, this could be the end of the round. Nice and yeah. Ending. Logical outcome, really. Reaper's gonna be have to a lot gonna have to be a lot smarter with his neutral. Especially since this is basically in Oleander's nice favor. Nice rope. This time's the Oh it might be like that's why it's this time. Nice yeah. punish on one thing that like Joto can do is like just do Rekkas because it's like the thing is you can you can delay the Rekkas so they can become decent frame traps. Oh no! Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say that I was wondering if Joe linked like his six A with two A because that's not really easy. Usually the easiest way to convert to convert with like a six C is with like a chapter shot. Yeah. Oh, speaking of chapter trap, Joe isn't really reading a lot. Yeah, he's yeah. not reading a lot. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. the thing is, he's doing it in really risky ways. And <laughs> it gets. It is I feel like I'm be. I'm such a broken record at this point, but <laughs> it's like Tiger Knee Spark does so much. It does so much, and it affects like the way you play. Ooh, Ooh. nice cross nice. counter. Able to... But Jota with the chat, the jab checks. Jab checks are so effective with Oleander because they're so far and they're so fast. Like all these five A is the best in the game. No questions asked. Yep, it's way too good. It. Oh, oh, Greeper. Uh, Greeper, it's B03. There we go. Hopefully, Joe does have a decent uh, ping to him. Mm. Let's see. Uh, next thing I'm going to have to check is like how the ping of Kokwa is with Suna's because my thing with Suna right now isn't too good. I think with Suna was alright. So if her ping is good with Suna, I'll be having them next. Otherwise I'll have Chicken and Cocoa fight each other. Alright. Seems fair. Ooh. Oh nice jumpy C oh no proper conversion though. Creeper really has to learn like uh Arizona's routes. Ooh that was not safe. Honestly, at that point, yeah, Creeper, so, Creeper has a lot to learn with Arizona. Like, he has to learn how to do uh, double short sweep. hop, <laughs> double sweep. Well, short hops consistently. He has to learn how to do short hops consistently because they're such safe overheads. 
And it's like, you can get, you can do so much with them. Ooh! Nice yeah. overhead, though. Ooh, yo, the cross under. Nice. Also, another thing about, like, short top, uh, short top jumping normals, aside from, like, being really good overheads, is that, aside from being safe, they don't cost ground bounce. So you can, so you can do whatever you want. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, nice falling B. Conversion. And if you can see how like Reaper is struggling, this is kind of why you need to learn how to build up uh, magic with Arizona as quickly as possible. That's why almost every time you see Aru go for like three stock combos every single time at the start of his matches. He does it every single time. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Just so he can get that, that, that resource advantage. Yeah, the resource advantage and he gets a good flow going on. Because even if he messes up with his offense, he has the magic anyway for him to steal a turn. Launcher on block. Kinda unsafe. Yeah. Launcher is, what, is one thing you never want to do on a block string. Always avoid it. Avoid it as much as possible at all costs. And uh, I, I, I recall knowing that um, if they are blocked in a block string, if you are doing a block string as uh, Arizona, you can just end with um, standing C and you'll be pretty safe from any jab. Yeah, usually stomp C and then... I, you can do stuff like uh, stomp C or like the... You can do her head box. Uh, head box is, yeah. Especially since C is, is a mid, so... Ooh. If they end up blocking low after the headbuck A, they you de you can at least end with like a C. That way you're that way at least you're con you're you're tagging them basically. But regardless, Jotodak does win 2-0. That's a good fight from both people. Yeah. Now, let's check. Kokoa, how is your ping with Suna? Ooh, it's, it's bad. bad. Yeah, I see my ping with Coca is like pretty bad as well. Uh, but it's now a priest. Yeah. Can okay. It is spiky. Chicken, how is your how is your ping with Cocoa? Yeah. Because I want to confirm. Because the thing is, I'm also ha- I do see you at one bar. For me. Now it's green. Now it's- Ah, the Wi-Fi is acting up. Hmm. Chicken, how is your ping? I'll have to make a- A switch then. How is your ping with, uh, Suna? Because green now though. Oh, okay. Chicken, can we have you fight uh, Cocoa? Chicken on P1. Just to be safe. Let's see. Yeah, this is really good right now. Because yeah, sometimes I ha I also have hours uh, where it's like my internet gets shaky. It's usually at like the evenings though, so it's that's usually that means that it's usually good for me and throughout the rest of the day, which is nice. I mean, there was a time where five p.m. was not a very good time for you, right? Yeah, <laughs> it'd be like that. Coca will be using um, Velvet if I'm, I recall correctly. Yeah. I hope Just you chicken. Yeah. All right. Let us break the ice. Round one. Hopefully, Coca's Wi-Fi doesn't act up. Yeah. Oh. There we go. go back. Okay. This is a bit shaky on my end. How is it on yours? It is shaky as well. Yeah. Okay. This is not. 
Okay, it looks like, it looks like it's... Uh, we I got kicked out. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, it is going pretty smooth for me right now. Okay. Yeah. I do think that they are also having some issues because... Um, Mm. The neutral was kind of odd, but um, Chicken managing to get a combo in right now. Alright. Nice tech from Coca, but Chicken got the combo in as well. Going for really simple combos. Unfortunately, he drops it. Coca setting up traps. Nice stray hits. Ooh, commanding a lot of air. Air with the ice. Nice blocks. Didn't block the fly down low. Getting hit eaten by with a combo. Ooh, no attack on that grab. Gets a combo in. Chicken just needs to use a super and can close out this match. Pops for the firebomb. Ooh, misses a grab. Ducks under the neutral C and gets a bit. I might be kicked out because she is falling really slow. Alright. Chicken with the first match. Alright. Round two. Ooh, nice air control from Chicken. Managing to get the first hit on Coca. Ooh, I think I'm seeing a fast forwarded version. Alright. Alright, now we're back to normal. Alright. Coca now managing to put Chicken in the con corner. Putting Tian in freeze. Goes for the Shatter C. Ooh, that's a lot of chunky damage. The freeze wire off. Gets hit by the standing C. And getting hit with a combo. Ooh, nice block from Koka. Managing to punish. And gets a Shatter B. I think Koka's internet is like getting a lot better. She's managing to like Retaliate to a lot of uh, punishers. Nice defense. Ooh. Tries to go for the mix-up. Didn't get it. Gets hit by Koka. To a big combo. Ooh. Nice shatter. Hiding it behind a lot of ice damage. Ooh. No tech from Chicken. Gets hit by the tornado. Nice block from Choker. Gets hit by the crossing overhead. Chicken doing a pretty decent combo, ending with power bomb. Kicks out with the air, gets a hit, no conversion. Ooh, gets hit by the ice, or was distracted by the ice, got hit by the jab. Poker responds with her own combo. She does have meter, no super. Back to neutral. Koka managing to put a lot of snowflakes in the air. Chicken trying to get a cross up in, but got hit got hit with the trade and then got jet by Koka. Alright, Koka wins the first match. I think you can join back now. Alright. Alright. So who won? That's unfortunate. Uh Koka. Okay. So let's see if uh, if uh, Chicken can make some adjustments to Velvet's plays. Now, also that power bomb thing you were calling earlier, you can just call it Ash. <laughs> uh, crush, volcanic crush, because it's like it's usually just Ash, Bash, or Crush. Well, I mean, if I say it fast enough, that's all you hear. This is uh, Ash, so I would be, I might or might not be wrong. You can do you can do it like the Ingudish way and just say Kurash. Ah, right. <laughs> so it's like the it's like the Ash option select. Ooh. <laughs> I'll comment later. So. Yeah. Anyway, they're both playing in the training stage just to make sure that the ping is safe. Yeah. Because like when all, if all goes, in case just to be safe, it's uh you can always go for training stage. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Chicken with the grab and Cocoa responded with her own. Oh, one thing I'm, one thing I'm nice. noticing oh. from like Cocoa is like her velvet is fairly mobile. Yeah. 
he was three months ago. Yeah, yeah. Chicken has to be careful if he put if he when he backs out. Because it's like at that range, he can get hit by uh was it 3D or 1D? Oh the ice eruption from the back? Yeah. The snowflake. Yeah, the snowflake from the back. And yeah, one thing that's really convenient with like Velvet is you can use her Oh nice! Oh no prop drops a combo though. Oh wow, tries to go for the BP. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh. 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 nice dash up. Not dash up, but low grab from Chicken. Into the crash. Chicken's gonna need a one clean hit. Oh no. Shattered A, I think. Yeah. yeah oh. Chicken is a lot. Chicken, Chicken is lacking a lot of decent conversions with like his nor with his uh, normals. Because the thing is, Tian doesn't really deal a lot of damage, even with resources compared to the rest of the cast. So, you have to learn how to make your hits count. Okay, using chicken. Oh, yeah, this is... Ooh! The thing is, at that state, your best option, with, when after you push block, is to just do absolute guard. Because uh, those 25 frames matter, especially when you're slowed down. And Coco has just... Playing so cleanly. Ooh, ooh, well, that goes a perfect. Ooh, nice and dear from Poka. Yeah. Chicken needs to work a lot on like his mobility and conversions, cause that's the one thing he that's the one thing he really needed to win from these matches. Cause the thing is, this is actually Tianwo's best matchup. Well, cause once um, you get close oh, to Velvet, she has a hard time responding to stuff. Okay. Hmm. Let's check who else is. <laughs> oh man, I really wanted like Suna and. Uh... Okay, I see Suna and Dimensional Dream. Let me just ping Di uh, Dimensional Dream in the server. Finish your match. Yeah, yeah finish your match. I want the last set. To be you against Suna. There, I pinged her. So, meanwhile, we can just wait for a little bit. Just spend some time relaxing. Yeah. So, we haven't seen a pet or a palm. Ooh, actually, uh, just as we, just as I thought we could relax. Uh, DD on player on P1. Just to be safe. Okay, so after this set, we will be going to the what's this? To the salt mines. But before we do, I will be making a quick announcement, especially regarding the Fauna 5. Nightmare before yeah. Christmas. Yeah, the nightmare before Christmas. Now, uh, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Fine, but let's make it quick. Right, Slow dimensional versus... Yes. Lots of Oleander we have today. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, Oleander has, does have a lot of good matchups. <laughs> I'm surprised that she didn't want to use the time to, like, practice her pop. Because, as we as we know by now, D Dimensional Dream does have a pocket pop. Well done. Again. I'm not dimensional, so yeah. Also, yeah. Also, you see how mobile Suna is. One thing that I've always found distinguishing Oh, you saw that 4D. One thing I always found distinguishing between like Suna and Tailnik, Suna is knows how to use 4D effectively. Between the two. He knows how to use his he really knows how to use his flips effectively. Like Tailnik is just all out aggression, but one thing Suna ha does well, at least it's like his using his flips well. But even so, dimensional, uh, uh, dimensional had like a really good defense against all that. Yeah, and, like really patient, waiting for the like, right time to strike. Indeed. Oh, Ooh. look at that! 
He teleported, get got iframe and punished Tsuna on the landing. Yeah, that was actually a really smart teleport. It's great. Impressive. Grabs a, gets the roll, no punish. Oh no! Tsuna. Uh, Tsuna, oh, no. Tsuna drops the combo. Tsuna's yeah. gonna have to be yeah. really careful! Ooh, one punch. Okay. Ooh. He's not gonna kill. Tsuna isn't gonna be able to kill with this combo, I think. He's gonna need another clean hit. Yeah. Oh no, it's five seconds in the clock! Ooh, Ooh. this. Yeah. Super! Super! Oh, yeah. Oh no! Oh, who won? No. Who wait? Who won? Who won? Oh! Oh my god! Dim barely won! Oh my god, that was wow, insane! That was I feel bad for Suna though, because that super guy just was for nothing. Man, you see how Dim is very patient right now in this match. Oh! Like, Dim is just waiting for the- Oh! He was just- Yeah, Dim is just waiting for those upper, for that opportunity to land a clean hit. Oh! Yeah. But Tsuna is making some really good adjustments, even with Dim's life lead. Dimensional is making everything safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice grab. He gets Catching a hard on. knockdown. No, oh, just blocking. Yeah, the overhead, though. Okay, Suna has a lot of time. Oh, oh no, he whiffed the super. The punish for it. Ah, oh, this is bad. Oh, oh no, he tried to grab again, but they got punished in the C. Ooh, Ooh. Nice 6D into Ash. Yeah. The thing is, one thing you you should know about like the uh, what's this the firecracker attacks? They all have an initial negative juggle decay of ninety of minus ninety five. So you can get a pretty decent combo out of them. That's why you see me getting decent damage out of like three D as a reversal. Ah. Do not let defeat be the okay. end. Okay. So if you know what you're doing, you can get decent conversions out of the firecracker attacks. Ooh. Wow! That was so slick! Hard knockdown. Ooh. Oh! Suna kind of just... At, so at one point, he kind of just needs to convert. Because it's like... The thing is... Suna's... Uh, Tiano's damage isn't a lot compared to Din. To Oleander. And it's like you see that, especially with like the low health that Tianwo has. Oh, 4D! Oh, Ooh. drops the 4D! You didn't get the full uh, Fred combo. Oh no! Catches the, 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 the back yeah. dash. Yeah, Fred is scary, because it's like, he just, he can shut down a lot of your options, especially as a Tianwo. Oh, whoa, nice. Right? Yo, the channel has been freaking like... Business. The Fred combos, like, wins. he's been practicing. Yeah, he's, Dim is really practicing those Fred combos. And that was like the first match, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the first match. Was Soon he's gonna have to make some big adjustments if he wants to, like, win the set. Years for this, you will not dissuade me. Go get a Molly. All right, let's see. Fight. Oh, yeah, Asuna making the rounds doing the round start 5B just to try to control space because it's a very 5B is a fairly effective tool. When I think about it, 5B is Tian's 5B is practically the best in the game, I'd say. Nice, Ooh, jumping C. Oh, he drops it. Right there. Man, if Tsuna, if Suna got that uh, air to air five C, he would have gotten a lot of damage out of that. Ooh. Nice defense, nice pull. Small. Oh, Actually, no. This is, this would be a decent amount of damage. That was like one point three, I think. Oh Ooh, no! Got hit, but uh, got. 
We mentioned this earlier when Jive and Happy Jack were fighting, but Epilogue just does so much to shut down things. Yeah, shut down approaches, shut down combos. And like once in the death here, you can just like either either go for the teleport or the reading. Hard knockdown, what's the mix? Oh Suna's gonna have to make some Oh no, he got hit with the jumping B. This is bad. Th look at how much damage is that being dealt right now. Oh. That's a neutral wake up. Oh no! Did... Dimensional. I'm surprised. I guess it was because of the scaling, but I was surprised that uh, Dimensional didn't cash out with the super. Yeah. He could have as, as well. I, I noticed, but it worked out either way. Oh. Wow! Ooh. That was Yo! Right. That was a stick to be. Yeah. Oh. oh! Unfortunate about the follow up, but Suna was still pretty confused on which side he should have blocked, I guess. I maybe. Oh! Punish. Oh no, this is. Is Dim gonna get a perfect on Suna? This might be a Suedo perfect because I I don't know if like fire I don't remember if Firecracker deals chip. Oh. Ooh, okay, that's definitely not a perfect after that jumping beat. Suna can make the comeback, but he has to make these counts map these count these hits count. Oh no, super. Yeah, not grab but the jet. Yeah. Ooh, dimensional. I mentioned I'll just pile in on Suda and Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Even just doing a super again. <laughs> uh, that was clean. That was a clean performance from Dimensional Dream. So dominating. Okay. That's uh, good. All right, guys. Before before we take before we get we take a quick. Water break before mines. I just want to remind you. Hello? Is voice chat still working? No? Okay. Is voice uh, chat still working? No. Fauna 5 is this Halloween. This coming. The 31st of October. October. 31. As such, I won't be holding free for full next week. So, if you haven't joined, join the tourney, join the server, and you'll find find the challenge link. The prizes for the ah oh, yeah, there's a hundred dollar prize pool on the line. So be sure, be sure to join. Now, if you don't mind, we we'll take a quick break. I'm gonna get a quick glass of water. Yeah, we're mining after this. We gotta grind for that. For the Halloween ads. Nine to be fine. That's a nice thing. I'm back! All to right. the mines! Let's go, everyone. Let's go. I don't think we should be mining at night. 
like the old song says. Oh my god. Oh, you guys are opened already. Alright. Yeah. People are impatient. Whoa, that's. How many people do we have right now? Oh gosh. Yeah. Everybody yeah, be blasting. Damn. Yeah, remember, folks. Oh, anyways, the Russians. Ah, oh, oh, okay. first off, rude. <laughs> oh my god, there were just so many summoners. <laughs> remember that one game where we have like, found like four summoners? Not four summoners, but one summoner summoned four? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's scary. Oof. Oh, the Halloween chests are even in the, um, the normal salt mines. Right? It's neat! It's such a neat detail. Yeah. Especially for the event. Oh, and they even have logos! They're... Like, you can tell which is for health, you can tell which is for dynamite. Oh, I just walked into a panther. There you go. Da -da -da -da. The man the divine coming just for the salt mines. Uh, just in time for the salt mines. Ooh, wave two. Let me out, let me out. Oh. I've been, I've also been tr practicing like uh, instant air dash after like my 6A. It's like, because it's kind of cool to pull it off. <laughs> and then just do like jump C. Oh, someone got a jackpot. Yeah. Because the nice thing is, it's like, I can, what's this? I can get like 5B, 5C after my conversion. I'm sorry, happy. I'm sorry, happy. I'm sorry, happy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, there's a signature chest here. I, I think happy won't be but happy with me. Yeah, I got the fun again after this fight. Somebody got a jackpot. Nice. Also, wow, we're already in wave 4? Yeah man, we have like 10 plus people. Is everyone just... I didn't. Damn it. Another wave. I 
Come on. Thank you. Oh, no. No, why are you summoning her? Oh gosh. Oh, there's. I'm in the room. Locked. I'm locked in the room with summoners. Okay. Someone up in the chair. Awesome. Right there. Oh. Oh. Yes. Dude, you have death to Oof. Imagine being AFK in the salt lights. Rip. He's in the water. He's fine. Thanks for the chest. <laughs> Thanks for opening the chest. Wow. <laughs> oh, you guys are fighting for it. Yep. GG. 
Ooh, wave eight. That was quick. Oh, so many summoners. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, lot. Oh, lot. Let me out of here. Get me out of here. God, get me out of here, Pop. No, do not. Oh, oh no. I'm fighting Shadow Arizona. No, not like this. Not like this, fam. No, 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 no. I got that to a Panther for you. Oh my god. Um. Oh, that dumbass cross up. Oh my god. I have made it. I Now I need health though. Oh my god, that was horrifying. Where's the health? Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually in decent health now. Oh no, hell no. Nah. Fuck you. Oh god. Oh lord. Here, Shadow Arizona. Who am I fighting? Oh, God. One kill. Salt boy. Man, I can't wait until I get until I eventually get all the oh items in the Oh I walked into yeah. a shadow pot. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you, you just wanna get like all the unlockables. So many summoners, what the f Oh my god, so many shadows. Why? Why is it this? Oh lord. That was like my full Oh lord, get me out of here. What the f Fuck yeah, is this conversion? Bad. Oh no, no, I cannot. Oh, no way! What? Fuck you! I'm the same. No, 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 I just. I got a health chest. Oh, oh people reading, damn it. Oh, oh god, god damn, damn it. it. And it's just 30 seconds on the clock left. <laughs> this 
So I just yeah. have to go. Oh, damn you! Is that pet shadow? Damn it! I lost. Awesome. Yeah, pet just not respond. All right. Put it in harder, dude. Fuck. Ah, oh, that was. I can't get in. <laughs> I can't get in anymore. God damn it! Oh, rip. Oof, that was... Oh, that was such an awkward way of ending. Oh. Happy Jack the Bear? Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, Frost, hello. Frost, the fuck do I... I'm gonna end... I'm gonna end... Your my home? part of free for full fights here. <laughs> oh, thanks everyone fun. for joining. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for joining the. Uh... Remember that uh, Fauna Five is on October thirty-one. No free for full fights this week. Uh, next week. Uh, we will be having the warm up. I believe we should be. Yeah. But we'll try to have have warm up this Thursday, I guess yeah, Thursday. Sure. Thursday 8 p.m. Uh, on um, Plus Eight GMT. So, if I assuming that Cadence is still alive in the, yeah, Cadence is still alive right. in the shrine, so you can watch more free for full on his end. Uh, stream will be in the description, or. Yeah, stream should be in the description so you can at least find the VOD. I have no idea if you'll be uploading this into the into the Fauna channel, which I will also be linking in the description. As it's supposed to be for like future content, especially tournament content, primarily. Oh yeah, oh right, if Hitsuji can post. Um, Hitsuji should be getting his um, laptop replacement parts by then, so he should be able to help. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So but we'll try our best to have a warm up because uh, the tournament is actually coming up. Yeah, so until then, that's pretty much everything on my end. So goodbye, everyone. <laughs>